Life Transformed, Chapter 8. Step 6, Take Inspired Action. To fully thrive, we must not only eliminate the stressors, but also actively seek joyful, loving, fulfilling lives that stimulate growth processes. Bruce Lipton in Biology of Belief. A lot has been written about the art of manifesting. It was brought to people's attention in the book and movie, The Secret, and has been mocked by many as woo-woo, when in fact, we are all manifesting every day, whether deliberately or not. Everyone is making things happen for themselves every day, all the time. What we think about or focus on becomes our reality. Some call it karma. Others say we reap what we sow. It's all the same. I suggest we manifest with gusto and create our perfect life. The law of attraction, the central principle of the secret, basically asks, basically holds that you ask, believe, and receive. People are often critical of this belief system because sometimes it doesn't work. In fact, it didn't work well for me. I asked for success in my yoga clothing business for years, believing that it would come if I had enough faith and not receiving it in the way I, in which I had expected. In the fashion world, it takes a long time to build a business and it wasn't happening in the desired time frame. I had, I had a very concrete end goal in mind, a giant sales figure at which point I planned to sell the business, but I was completely close to receiving money. I took the subconscious position of, no, I'm good. I have everything I need. The difficulty I find with the three-step ask, believe, and receive process is that two elements are missing from the suggested steps. In addition to ask, believe, receive, you need to heal and drop the limiting beliefs and blocks that get in your way. Also, you need to act or move toward what you're doing by doing something to represent your commitment to it. You must take action, inspired action toward the goal, and then the process begins. So our new, directive, our new directive, heal, ask, believe, act, receive. Healing first is essential to ensure that what you ask for is in your highest good, based on your aligned, authentic, healed self. What is inspired action? Inspired action is an intentional action you take wholeheartedly with enthusiasm, good feeling, and excitement. It's not something you do with reluctance, dread, or doubt. You move forward with faith, trust, hope, and joy. You step out of your box and you open yourself up to new possibilities. You will not get different results unless you do something different. And remember, you cannot change other people. You can only alter something about yourself, your own behavior and attitude. Inevitably, the people around you will change based on your new behavior, but you must change first. The universe says yes. Through your power intentions, you created positive statements to which you want the world to say, yes, and here it is. Now you will support those intentions with action steps to demonstrate your full commitment. When you take the smallest step towards your goal, magical things start to happen. For instance, you might meet someone in the grocery store line who works for the company you just listed as your top place to work. The most wonderful, perfectly synchronistic thing happened to me in 2005. My soon-to-be business partner, Ann, and I had just decided to start a yoga clothing company. Beckons Yoga Clothing. We had done many clothing related projects together and had been waiting for our child raising schedules to ease up before we could start our new business. One day we found ourselves ready to begin. The next weekend, I joined my husband on a work related schmoozing trip to Las Vegas. He and his workmates went to the NASCAR races while I hung out at the JW Marriott pool. I was at the pool bright and early in the morning, ready to write in my journal and enjoy some alone time. I joyously plopped down on an empty pool deck, not one person there but me. Within 15 minutes, a, later, a lady came and sat down right beside me. Seriously? There were no less than 100 unoccupied chaise lounges next to me. 
clearly she wanted to chat. Sure enough, she said she was in town with her husband who was selling athletic fabric at the yoga and dance conference at the Las Vegas Convention Center. Her husband became my chief fabric supplier for the dozen years while I was in my clothing business. He lined us up with our pattern grader, marker maker, and our first production facility. It was the most fantastic example of the universe saying, yes. And here's how I can help. Available to everyone. This help is not reserved for people who pray and do good things for a living. It happens to all of us. The universe says, yes, here's how I can help based on good intentions or less than good intentions. Imagine if you're constantly saying, my life sucks. Well, the universe says, yes, and here's more of that. Pay attention to your words. Watch what you say to yourself and others. You've just completed the proper wording for what you want your life to look like. You're perfect. Say it often. One of your first steps towards your goal is to repeat your intentions each day, once a week, on the first day of the month. Repeating your intentions is a terrific action step. Not necessary, but a good one nonetheless. Taking action is essential whether it be a small step or large ones. Doesn't matter what you do exactly, just that you do something. Every day, ask yourself, what is the best use of my time and energy? What can I do today to move toward my goals and put myself in the path of my greatest intentions? Sometimes we're just pulled or moved to do something. Other times we just need to take the tiniest step forward. It may be as simple as setting the intention of being open to opportunities. To wake up in the morning and say, I'm available for abundance and joy, happiness, information, guidance, love, and wonderful opportunities. How do you go about taking consistent action? I will first present some broad concepts that everyone can use to make significant changes in, changes in their life and follow up with smaller daily action steps for each of the nine squares on the matrix. Large item action steps. Here are examples of major action steps that will quickly launch you into life transformation land. Meditate. Through meditation, we gain clarity on our must-haves in life. Meditation helps you come to a place of great focus, helping your intentions manifest. Meditation relaxes the body, balances the hemispheres of the brain, and lowers blood pressure. Through regular practice, you can experience significant changes in how you see and react to the world. The mind is quietly settled, like a glass of muddy water. If you don't stir it, the dirt will slowly settle. In the same manner, if you let the mind be in the spacious openness, slowly the confusion or the turbulence of thought in motion settles. In the reading of a poem by Ripoche called Rest in Natural Great Peace, the easiest way to start is by following a guided meditation. There are hundreds of YouTube videos of guided meditations available free on the internet. My favorite meditation practice is to sit quietly for 30 minutes with no guide, music, expectation, or tools. I simply sit with a timer set on my phone and go within. I do this in the car when I'm waiting for someone or on my couch when I have a moment. The simpler, the better, in my opinion. This way you have no excuses and can meditate nearly anywhere and or anytime you find yourself alone with a few free minutes. There's no wrong way to do it. You need nothing but intention to begin. At first, you may notice your mind bouncing around with thoughts and, and additions to your to-do list. Begin meditating with a paper and pen by your side. Allow yourself to drop down the things that come up and be grateful for the reminders and go back to meditation. Once the internal chatter quiets down, you may notice 
images, and information emerging. Just observe what happens without judgment, without thinking, I must be doing this wrong. There is no such thing as wrong in meditation. Imagine the images or thoughts floating by on a magic carpet, going where they need to. You may feel you are falling asleep. Personally, I believe we are going someplace, not on this plane of reality, rather than falling asleep. But if you do, that's okay too. Our goal is to receive clarity and internal answers through meditation. For some reason, a lot of people think that med in meditation, we should have no thoughts. But this is not entirely true. Thoughts will come and go as you settle into meditation, but eventually images, messages, and clarity arrive. Meditation is about listening to your higher self, God self, or universal wisdom. To listen, be still and quiet. The more you do it, the more likely you will find clarity. You are listening for your own answers. The important thing is to begin. No excuses. Devote at least 10 minutes a day to the practice of being, not deciding or changing, simply being as a frequency. When you sit by yourself, ask yourself to align to your greatest potential. Paul Selig in the book of Knowing and Worth. Clean up your self-talk. Change the words that guide your life or keep you stuck. Clean up the self-talk that puts you down or keeps you there. What do you hear yourself saying to other people? Perhaps you are just being playful or funny with your self-deprecating language. Remember my story about being on the bottom of the pile where I nearly died and how that experience resulted in my not feeling heard? For years, I often offhandedly said, no one listens to me. Even though I have valuable things to say, well, the universe has continued to say, yes, you are right. Considering I'm building a business based on people listening to me or reading my work and be benefiting from what I teach, I'd, better, I'd be better served by power, harnessing the power of the universe in the direction of, I have a lot to say and people listen to me. The universe can then say, yes, you are right to that. Similarly, simil uh, similarly people who are enmeshed in drama will remain in drama just because they keep themselves there by talking about angst-filled issues. If you struggle to get out of debt, you will remain in the struggle to get out of debt. If you are constantly trying to lose weight, you will keep yourself trying to lose weight. On the other hand, if you're always in the flow of abundance and money comes easily, your abundance will increase. If you are in a place of gratitude about being vibrantly healthy, you will align with vibrant health. Watch what you allow into your body. Be mindful about what you bring into your body. Allow in those things that enrich, support, nourish, or heal your body. Resist or limit that which is stressful, diminishing, or not in your best interest. This applies to food, music, media, and the words of others. Every day you make decisions about what enters your mind and body. Choose positive books and programming. Eat more plants and less processed food. Limit your exposure to friends who make you feel less to make themselves feel better. This is a gigantic step toward a better life. When we see everything as our choice and allow it allow in only that which supports, we are saying, I matter. And the universe says, yes, and here's more of that. Journal. Even if you've tried journaling in the past and it hasn't been, it hasn't been of benefit, you may want to give it another try. Don't think that journaling must be done in a specific way. Writing in a journal is effective when you see it merely as a method of getting something out of your mind. When I look back on all the journals of my life, I am amazed at all the negative things I wrote down. I poured all my negative thoughts into my journals so that so those thoughts would not be in my head or presented to the world, but remain tucked away in a book somewhere. It's, I, it's often painful to go back and read them. They are the part of me I did not want to show the world. 
Journaling is a great way to work through things in your mind without being influenced by others or affecting others and causing problems. Move your body. We all know when you move your body, you move the energy in your body. The more we move the body, the better it performs in every way. How can you add more activity to your, to your day? Park further from the building, take the stairs. This information is all too common. You know what to do. Exercise, do yoga, walk, dance in your living room. Ground to the earth. It's important to ground yourself every day by walking on the earth, bathing, eating, anything that connects you to this body at the present time on this planet. It is essential to ground in gratitude. We are very fortunate to be in this time and space. Seekers often spend a great deal of time in their heads trying to figure things out. This must be paired with grounding or connecting to the physical body. Remember, we are aligning with our higher selves as human beings on this planet in this time and space. And through this connection, we can do what we are meant to do on this earth. Practice mindfulness. Mindfulness is the act of being aware of what is happening in the present moment. Internally and externally. Noticing what is going on around you and in you. Mindful eating means when you eat, just eat. Notice the color, flavor, texture, and taste of your food. Notice how it feels to be eating that food, bringing it into your body. It means being with the people sharing the meal. It doesn't mean texting coworkers while you're enjoying a homemade meal with your family. When we practice mindfulness, we fully engage in the present moment, keeping our thoughts directed on what is happening right then and there. It keeps us in the space of gratitude. General action steps. Here are other broad categories of action that will create change in your life. Find a support group, energy worker, counselor, accountability partner, or coach who can support you in your process of life transformation. Forgive others. Drop expectations. Get in touch with people. Let go of friends who do not enrich your life. Say positive affirmations. Read your vision board statements daily, weekly on the first day of the month. Get outside and put your feet directly on the ground. This is called earthing. Make the phone call. Ask for what you want to need. Get rid of the stuff you don't need. Read books that support your vision and keep your mind in a healthy space. Take a class. Go somewhere new. Get out of your box and do something you've never done before. Volunteer. It helps. It, it feels good to help others and support causes you believe in. The above suggestions are broad categories of actions you can take. Too intimidating? You've already tried those? Well then, let's begin with smaller steps, specific to the various categories from our feng shui vision board. Inspired actions specific to life categories. As you look through the following list of potential action steps, according to each aspect of life, Please know that I'm not suggesting you do all of these or even most. They're merely suggestions of options available to you. Gentle nudges toward action. They are here to inspire you. Start by highlighting or circling one in each category that you could easily implement this week. Write that step on your action step matrix. Available in the Life Transform Toolkit at www.beckyprater.com. When that action is complete or integrated more fully into your life, add a new one. Allow this list to serve as a guide, a suggestion giver rather than an impossible laundry list of things you should do. When you update your action step matrix, whether it's weekly, monthly, or yearly, come back to this list for some helpful ideas. Any effort will be received as fuel for the process. 
Merely reviewing your feng shui vision board regularly to remind yourself how grateful you are to have this wonderful life will do the trick. The good news is that you don't have to do anything, but every step you take in the direction of a future beyond your imagination, the faster and more directly it moves toward you. Okay, abundance. Create an envelope labeled vacation in Europe or whatever you want to save money for where you put all the $5 bills you receive. They add up quickly. Place images of abundance in your awareness, in your house, on the bathroom mirror, as your phone wallpaper. Start a savings account for something you have your heart set on. Declutter your space, wallet, purse, drawers, closet, house, and car to get energy moving freely. Abundance is about the flow of energy. Make room for it to flow. Always pay more than the minimum on your credit cards or your mortgage. Give to a cause. Nothing says I am in abundance, quite like giving to a charity or a cause. Cut down on impulse purchases. Say we don't spend our money in that way rather than we don't have enough money for that. Spend intentionally supporting companies you feel good about. Keep a notebook of beautiful things you find that will be yours when the money is realized. Pick up the coins you find on the ground and be grateful. Breathe in abundance during meditation. Light a candle, welcoming abundance to your space. Call it your abundant candle, abundance candle and light it often. Keep track of what you spend and be mindful of unnecessary spending. Start a gratitude jar or box where you write on small pieces of paper daily those things you're grateful for. It fills up quickly and keeps you in a place of abundance and gratitude. Affirmation. I am in the flow of money and abundance. Health and well-being. Drink a glass of water before anything else. Work out, dance in your living room, join a gym, watch a yoga video and follow along. Do a cleanse. Clean out the clutter in your environment. Go for a walk. Add more plants to your diet. Get good sleep, seven to eight hours. Chamomile tea can help. Eat only when you're hungry or let yourself be a bit hungry for a while, then eat. Bring your lunch to work three days per week. Take probiotics or vitamins. Schedule your mammogram or prostate screening. Free, read food labels and try to stick to foods where you can identify the ingredients. Clean out the refrigerator and pantry. If you shouldn't eat it, give it away. Carry healthy snacks with you so you are not tempted by unhealthy food. Try that J-E-G-F. Just eat good food diet. Be mindful of the food you allow into your body. Your body knows what's right for it. Get a massage or energy healing once a month to align your system. Give away clothes that are too tight or package them in a giveaway box and check back in six months. If you haven't needed them, give the box away. Affirmation. Thank you for the vibrant health. I look and feel better than ever. Skills and knowledge. Sign up for a class. There are lots of free classes at libraries, community centers, churches. Read a book about something you're interested in knowing more about. Visit a museum and take in all that there is to learn. Find a YouTube channel that addresses something you're passionate about and binge watch the videos. Here's some of my favorite thought leaders. Kyle Cease, Greg Braden, Bruce Lipton, Matt Kahn, Paul Selig. Affirmation, I'm capable of anything I set my mind to. I can do it well. Career, make a career change. Polish your resume and add in all the great things you've done since your last job search. Include volunteer jobs and special projects. Get help to create an updated superstar resume incorporating new trends in resume writing and AI probably. Update your LinkedIn profile with a description of recent projects. 
learn more about your industry, read books, get certified, take a class, watch videos from people who are thought leaders in your industry. Fail quickly so you can learn to do it right. Listen to and receive feedback graciously. Find a mentor at work who can help you move up faster. When you complain about something, have a few suggestions about how it could be better. Ask for more responsibility at work if you're up for it. Set some new goals at work to step up your game. Sign up for a job listing service that brings available jobs right into your inbox. Take a class or get certified. Look at your current job to see if there's anything you can do to improve the circumstances. We need heart-based people to stay in corporate America and change it from the inside. Start a wellness program for your colleagues. Be a mentor at work or in life. Affirmation, thank you for the perfect job that is fulfilling and utilizing my skill set. Helpful people in travel. Start a travel fund. Buy a, guide, buy, buy a guidebook for the place you want to visit next. Check flights to see how much it might cost. Set up a price alert. Reach out to a friend you haven't seen in a while and go out for a coffee or wine. Affirmation, I travel to amazing places for work and pleasure. I am blessed with supportive and loving people in my life. Contribution. Dust off your paintbrushes and begin again. Become an expert at something you love. Write a book, teach a class, give workshops. Read everything you can about a subject. Go to a museum or movie and get your creative juices flowing. Begin writing a blog or in a journal. We all have expertise in something and it is important that we pass it on. Brainstorm new ideas, choose one and start. If it's about children, you might ask your doctor for suggestions about how to prepare the body for optimal fertility. Affirmation, I'm bringing wonderful art or beings into this world. Love and relationships. Make your partner your priority. Check in once a day via text to let him or her know you were thinking about him or her. Find a photo or image of a loving couple and place it in the far right corner of your bedroom. That's a feng shui tip. Buy a candle and put it in your love space. Take care of your body so that you feel sexy, lovable, and desiring or deserving of attention and adoration. Go for a hike or long walk together. It's easier to talk when you're not directly facing one another. If uncommitted, sign up for an online dating service and be very clear about your, what you were looking for in a partner. Start hiking. I always see healthy, seemingly happy people out hiking. Write down five reasons you love your partner and put it in your bed. Put it by your bed as a reminder. Make a plan for intimacy. Put away the smartphone when you're with your partner and focus on them. Really listen. Go to bed at the same time as your partner and snuggle for a few minutes. Plan a date night once a week. Send a spicy text during the day to remind them. Make sure to hug or kiss before leaving and when getting home from work every day. Say thank you and I'm sorry generously. Affirmation, I love, I am lovable, I love deeply, I am loved deeply, I am worthy of love. Fame and reputation, clean up your Facebook, Instagram, and other social media accounts to present the best you. Delete old accounts and set up new you accounts. Use your words impeccably. Thank you, Dawn, Louise, Miguel, and the four agreements for that one. Agree to things that inspire you. Say no to those that don't. Then keep your commitments. Take photos and post about all the positive things you are doing and with whom. Share the great things others are doing. We need to give each other credit whenever possible. Celebrate great companies and products. Tell their story and help sell their services and products. They will in turn do the same for you. People love to know what's working and who's doing the best job or the, providing the best product. Share, share, share. 
Follow through so people know they can count on you. Google your name and see what information comes up about you. Remove negative posts when possible. If there's a harmful content out there, create a new content so the old one becomes less and less relevant. Post only positive content that you have read thoroughly. You do not want to post something that will offend. We should all try to be inclusive, kind, and change the world. Quietly remove your connection to people whose reputation is less than stellar. Remember, you are the company you keep. Set up a Google alert for your name so you can monitor what is being said about you. If someone includes you in an article or post, reach out and thank them for thinking of you. Create an honest feedback loop. Find someone or a few people who will be honest, listen, and receive feedback with gratitude. Affirmation. People listen to what I have to say and benefit from it. I am well respected in my field. You. Increase your self-care. Take a salt bath. Get a mani and pedi or give yourself one. Stay in the present moment, not worrying about the past or future. Make the best of every moment. Identify five things you like about yourself at the beginning of each day. Take 100% responsibility for your life and eliminate excuse making. Get a new hairstyle or some new clothes to present a different you. Rid your closets of all clothing you no longer wear. If you lose weight, you will likely want to update your style and get new clothes in celebration. Look at yourself in the mirror and see the beauty. Stay open to receiving abundance, advice, a new opportunity, or a new relationship. Recognize the signs in front of you, guiding your life. Celebrate the miracles. Help others. There's nothing like helping a friend or family member when it comes to making you feel good about yourself. Surprise people by being nicer, more giving, more helpful, or a better listener than they expect. Over-deliver on friendship. Be growth-oriented, always finding ways to improve you. Find a role model and be a role model. Be a better person, friend, partner, employee, manager than you expect others to be. Drop your expectation of others. Step out of your comfort zone once a week by doing something you find uncomfortable, like take dancing lessons or learn a new language. Practice listening. Actively listen to others and show that you care about what they are saying. Take time off if possible to rethink your life. Affirmation, I am awesome and people enjoy being around me. I'm doing my best every day and I love life. Simply take action. Now it's time to step into intentional action toward a future beyond your imagination. You can do many things or just one. Best to set out doing one thing a day that moves you closer to your goals. Highlight, circle, or write down any of those ideas above that resonate with you. Create your own list. Might be helpful to keep a running list in your phone so you can easily cross off, add, or eliminate steps. Taking action means showing up every day, steadily moving in the direction of your dreams. Trying many things increases the likelihood of success. The truth is, it doesn't matter what you do. So long as you do something to the best of your ability that moves you in a direction that at least makes the most sense given your options. Mike Dooley. You can do this. The instructions are simple. Find an accountability partner and just begin. To get started, write down one action step you can do in each category that you can accomplish in the next 24 hours or week and move uh, to move you closer to your ideal future. Too overwhelming? Pick three categories and commit to action in those three categories. Action steps I will take in the next 24 hours or week. You will create one for career, helpful people and travel, contribution, love and relationships, fame and reputation, health and abundance, wealth and abundance, health and wellness, skills and knowledge, authentic self and spirituality. 